Have you ever heard the term studio magic? Well, GarageBand has magic that simplifies recording and jamming more than ever. That's right, we haven't finished Magic GarageBand just yet. We do have a couple more videos, but we're almost through it. So in this video, we're gonna focus in a little bit more on the inputs. So you've been jamming out with this uh, live band now and you've got your own little part, your own little flair to the song with your own instrument, whether it's uh, singing vocals, piano, guitar, whatever the case may be. You need to get that instrument, that sucker into the computer before you can obviously start recording and laying down your track. So let's go ahead and see how we change the input to the correct input that you need. Now, if you can look on this bottom dash, it gives us a brief overview of my instrument. Because my instrument is on the front of the stage. Because, hey, you're a rock star, you want to be in the front, you're the lead man. So, uh, by default, uh, Magic GarageBand gives us keyboard default. Because lot, lots of music is made with mini keyboards now, so that's a... Uh, it's a good starting point, so that's why they default it as the keyboard. But for right now, I'm going to change it just to show how we change the options of input inputs. Click on the down arrow, and it gives us a long list. Well, I have a long list. This list can be different on your computer, obviously, because um, the setup will be different according to software. No, I'm sorry, according to uh, the hardware that you have set up at your own rig. Um, the only thing that we will share in common is the keyboard, internal mic, and line in. Those three should be there on your computer because those are the same on all Macs. But what is different are these. S input 1, Sapphire, 6 USB, and input 2, Sapphire, 6 USB are my hardware, my specific hardware, because I'm using a Sapphire, Sapphire 6 USB audio interface. So I have two input options, and as well as Soundflower, which is uh, another thing that we won't have to go too much into detail about. But I do have different options, which is the point of showing the input section. Now, for right now, I'm going to switch it to input one on my Sapphire, which is actually the microphone that I'm using to do the voiceover for this video. <clears throat> okay, and it does take a second for it to load in for GarageBand. There we go. So, <laughs> I know my voice sounds kind of weird right now, because the default setting, for some reason, Gr Magic GarageBand uses an old school funk, and this is a, gr uh, a guitar effect. It's emulating, obviously, old school funk sound. So there's like a little bit of wah, and my, it makes my voice sound this way. <laughs> so please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any requests, please send them to requests at mahalo.com. Well, I do remember the time, the time we spent on my roof just staring.